What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are rocking out with Glamora on the rank ladder alongside with a top tier combo, Don Dozo and Tatsugiri. You guys are in the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But this team right here was made by my man Clover Bells. Clover Bells, huge shout out to you. If you guys want the Poke Base or want to check out this team more in depth, make sure you head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But the first Pokemon that we're going to be talking about in today's team preview is going to be the Don Dozo. It's got Unaware and the Leftovers as item to recover a little bit of HP at the end of every single turn. Then it's rocking EQ, Order Up, Wave Crash, and Protect. Right next to him in our second slot is going to be its best friend, Tatsugiri, with Commander and a Choice Scarf. We've got Muddy Water, Draco Meteor, Icy Wind, and Terra Bless with that Steel Terra type to deal with Fairy type Pokemon and actually be viable without Don Dozo. So I actually really like this. So you can go into Tatsugiri, you can go into Don Dozo, or you can use them separately. They both can work on their own. Something I really like about this team. In our third slot, we got Alolan Ninetales, a top tier screen setter with that Lake Clay and Aurora Veil, and it's got Blizzard, Moonblast, and Protect. Really can't go wrong with Ninetales in Regulation E. You're seeing it all across the meta. Just so good, especially when you get that Aurora Veil set up for the squad. In our fourth slot, we got a Pokemon that I actually haven't used in a good bit, and that is going to be Glamora, with Toxic Debris and a Citrus Berry as item. It's got Mortal Spin to set it up to Poisons, Power Gem for Stab, Sludge Bomb for Stab, and then you got that Spiky Shield for that Protect that also hurts physical attackers. In our fifth slot, we got one of the best Pokemon in Regulation E, that is going to be Fire Ogre Pump, with Mold Breaker and the Hearth Flame Mask. It's got Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech, Sword Stance, and Spiky Shield. In our final slot, we got Old Reliable over here, Iron Hands with Cork Drive and the Assault Vest. Its moveset is pretty straightforward, but it's been working so good in Regulation E with Fake Out, Drain Punch, Wild Charge, and Heavy Slam to deal with his Flutter Mains and other Fairy types. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Don Dozo and Glamora team. First match is on its way. We're always going up against top tier meta teams in the rank ladder right now. And nothing's really changing here. A Bramble Gas team alongside with Tornadus. And then they also have a bunch of good meta Pokemon. Golden Go, Urshifu, Rollaboom, and Hisuian Arcanine. We could go into Ninetales here if we want to. But I just feel as they're just going to change up the weather. So kind of just don't want to do that. I think they might go into Tornadus and somebody else. So I think at this point, a good Pokemon to potentially lead could be Iron Hands. Just so we can fake out and kind of get rolling from there. But then if they go into Bramble Gas, that's Ghost type. So I'm going to go Don Dozo here. And I'm also going to go maybe Glamora or even Ogre Pond would, wouldn't be bad, right? Ogre Pond would not be bad here. I don't mind Ogre Pond. So yeah, I'm going to end up leading those two. I'm going to bring Tatsugiri as a back-end Pokemon. And then last but not least, either Glamora or Iron Hands. And I'm kind of leaning a bit more towards Glamora because we got that Sludge Bomb to kind of deal with the uh, deal with the Rillaboom. We also have uh, Power Gem to deal with the Arcanine and the Tornadus. Yeah, I can get down with this. I can definitely get down with Glamora. So let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's let's grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But all these matches are going to be tough for us. Always going up against top three round of Pokemon. I'm just super excited for a new DLC to come out very, very soon. So we can actually get a new change of meta and a new change of like a bunch of new Pokemon to showcase. Always excited for new DLCs. But for them to lead, I can definitely see Tornados coming out here, right? Yeah, Tornados and Ursu come out here. And I think with Don Dozo and Ogre Pond, that actually works out pretty well for us. I don't think that's too bad. I mean, they could set up a Tailwind. They definitely could just set up an easy Tailwind. I think from here, we might just want to... No, we don't have to Terrasilize. I think we just go for like an order up here. And we send it right into this Urshfu slot. That's Water Urshfu, right? Yeah, it's Water Urshfu. So I think I'm just going to go for an order up. Send it in that slot. And I think we just hard swap into... In a Tattoo, right? I think this is just a simple Tattoo swap. I'm cool with that. Yeah. The simple Tattoo swap is going to come out here. Don't want to... Don't want to overdo it, especially with Urshfu on the field with our right, Ogre Pond. Don't want to spike shield. Don't really want to attack. Because they can always just Tailwind set up, get speed, and kind of go from there. But I'm going to hop inside the mouth. And we're going to look to get some value out of uh, Don Dozo here. That's really what I, all I want to do here. Is get some value out of here. So we go plus two on all of our stat boost. Kind of curious to see what he's going to do here. And I would think just like a Tailwind comes out here and he starts attacking. 
And we're kind of hoping he goes for certain strikes into the ogre plan here. That would be best bet, right? And you do. You do do that. So, good thing we we did swap pretty early here, right off the rip. Because now order up's going to fly out here, do a nice chunk of damage. And on top of that, we get a nice little attack boost. The big time attack boost for us, another order up will KO. Do they have any fairy types to actually swap into? That's the real question. They don't. So, I mean, order up could just fly into that slide again if we want to. We get another attack boost, or I can just wave crash and finish off you. Option, because he's not really doing anything crazy to us, right? You're not really doing anything crazy. Do I just go order up again? I think I just wave crash you down. I really do, because I think you detect her swap. Yeah, there we go. Nice big time detect. Big time detect over there. Rain Dance going to come out here, and thank you for the big time damage. Say bye bye to Tornadoes. Say bye bye Tornado. So Wave Crash coming out here. I know that's going to help him with a boost for water moves later in the match. But right now, Don Dozer's just thriving. So if I can target down this Urshfu slot next turn, that could really be good for us. So we'll take some recoil. I wonder how much damage they're going to do to us. I do have leftovers. I could protect, but chances are I don't really want to protect because Urshfu's on the field. I'd rather just try to out bulk shots right here, right now to try to get rid of this Urshfu. Because if I can get rid of Urshfu, we can really be sitting in a good spot. And now comes Bramble Grass. So Bramble comes out here, he's going to get that attack boost, and now's the perfect time just to Thrasilize, just to make sure we get rid of him, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. So I'm going to go order up again. Actually, I could go EQ. I could just go EQ. I mean, it's not going to do... It's definitely going to KO the, uh, the Urshifu, right? I know order up will, but actually, I mean, Thrasilize, you know, we're going to do this, just in case he wants to swap the Urshifu. I'm just going to stick with the order up. We want to see a nice lovely terror type probably come out from Bramble Gas, right? No, Urshifu's going to pop it. He's going to go into straight water. They're looking to do as much damage as they possibly can on me. It's getting a little scary. This is definitely getting a little scary. But by us terrestrializing, I think we should be able to soak up some shots. I think we should. We go into the dragon type. We're going to be able to soak up some water shots. I know he has the crits going on, but we do have the unaware. All that good stuff. And actually, that hits the crits will actually hit through all of our defense boost. But Bramble Gas over here, probably going for a grass move. Try and do some big time damage. That's exactly why we terrestrialize. And yeah, we're soaking relatively well. That's still hitting hard. <laughs> That's still hitting hard. We just gotta be able to soak up this Bramble Gas shot. 57 HP. Can we soak this up? Can we soak up, uh, soak up whatever Bramble Gas has to offer? Power up. I don't know if we can soak that up. We do easily. No problem. The perfect terror type for us. Order up's gonna come out here. And we get off some nice value here. We get off some lovely value. Lovely value out of Dime Bird. So perfect. So we get rid of Urshifu, we get rid of the terror, and we also get rid of their support with Tornadus. Now I just think a simple protect is in play, just so we can waste out a tailwind turn. And kind of go from there. And plus we'll get back some HP again. Maybe be able to soak up some shots. The Don Dozo still being a boss in regulation E. I remember back in, what was it, like season one when the game first came out? I remember everybody was just using their, their normal Pokemon, Pokemon that they like to use, and then somebody figured out, they're like, hey, there's this fish combo right here that is kind of new to the game. We should try this out. And it just took over the meta. It was so broken at the time. Before they nerfed it, I believe they nerfed it. I forget how they nerfed it, but they did nerf it a little bit. It was so strong. But from here, I'm just going to protect, like I said, waste out another turn of Tailwind and get some HP back with leftovers. Then we can pretty much just kind of run through this match. We still have all of our Pokemon left. Dantozo has just been thriving since turn one. We just made a great Terra play. We made a great read on the detect. We really thrived out from there. It ends up going for a Poltegeist. And you're going for Make It Rain. And you're going for Shadow Ball. Is that the end of Tailwind? That'd be massive if that's the end of Tailwind. That's the end of Tailwind. That's huge. It is. So now we probably outspeed. Now I get to pretty much choose, or I can just go for an EQ. And I am going to go for an EQ. Super effective on the Golden Go. Does a little bit of damage onto that. That Bramble Gas. We're thriving here. We might, we have a chance to sweep. We have a chance to sweep. Because if Don does it out speeds and he doesn't protect the Golden Go, I can KO that with EQ. And then I don't think Bramble Gas can KO us in one shot. Is this going to be a Don Dizzy sweep in match number one? I sure hope so. I really hope so. So much, so much fun playing Don Dose and just sweeping. So EQ's gonna fly here. Can this take out the Golden Go? I think it does. We're plus four on the back. Come on, man. Get out of here, Golden Go. Doing insane amount of damage to Bramble Gas as well. 
And like I said, Rainbow Gash should not be able to KO us. Our defense boost is through the roof. Poltergeist is going to come out here. And he's going to attack me by my leftovers. And again, I should still be able to soak this. I do. And that's going to be... Unless you got Shadow Sneak. But I don't, I don't think Shadow Sneak's KOing us anyway, either. Do we think Shadow Sneak's KOing us? Because I could just protect. I could protect. But I'm going to say Shadow Sneak does not KO us. No, they just canceled battle anyway. There it is. A sweeping match number one with Don Dozo and Tatsukiri. Let's go hop through a second match. Look to showcase his team a little bit better. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, hopping into our second match. And it's kind of funny to see us going up against a Glamour team here in match number two, considering I haven't used Glamour in a while, and I haven't really seen Glamour on the rank ladder in a while. So pretty cool to see that. Definitely want to bring it in here and try to use it here in match number two. But uh, they got some really good Pokemon. They got the Hearth Flame Mesh Ogre Pond, just like us. Rillaboom, who is obviously top tier. And they also got Lando, um, King Gambit, Clefable, who is great support and great special attacker at the same time. But what I do notice is there's no weather control. So Nine Tails with screens is really good that, for us to actually go into here. So I'm going to go Nine Tails here. And I might also leak Lamora. I might also leak Lamora. That's not a bad idea. And I think that's going to be my play. I think I'm going to go Lamora and Nine Tails right off here for the lead. And then in the back end, bring Ogre Pond of my own. And probably Iron Hands, right? I could go Tazagiri on my own. Which wouldn't be too bad, but I kind of like Iron Hands here, considering we got Heavy Slam, we got Drain Punch, we got a bunch of different moves that are going to be super effective onto a few of these Pokemon. So, let's lock it in. Let's do it. Let's do it. The Pokemon that I can see them definitely leading, or potentially leading, I shouldn't say definitely, is going to be real, right? They get the Fake Out option, they could Fake Out my Ninetales, but then if they Fake Out my Ninetales, then I just Sledge Bomb over with my Glamora. But if they Fake Out my Glamora, I set up a nice little War Veil, so... We'll see. We'll see. Or I could just protect Nine Tails because there's no way they're faking out more, right? Then I get the Toxic Debris out there. It's just a problem. It's just a problem for them to fake out Glamora. It really is. So if they do go Rillaboom, I'm really considering just protecting Nine Tails. But we'll see. And I'm going these two. I, I, I don't mind that. Two special attackers on the field. I got my Icy types going on here. Um, I'm really cool with this. We definitely want to set up a War Veil. We definitely want to set up a War Veil. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, War Veil. Let's do that. And I could Terrasize you in straight grass. Maybe just set up a Mortal Spin at this point, right? Just to set up the poisons? I get down. But I know Clefable learns life doings, and it's a nice little support Pokemon. So, I think by setting this up, we should be fine. So, what I do know is Lando's probably Choice Scarf. Right? Most likely choice scarf. But I don't think it can KO my nine tails in one shot. I don't think it can. We'll see. But I'm gonna terrasize my Glamora just in case he wants to go for a stopping catch. I'm gonna try to KO Glamora. Nice little grass type is gonna be perfect. I can pop the mortal spin. And we can really get cooking from there. A nice lovely grass tower on the Glamora. I love Glamora. I think it's such a cool Pokemon. So we end up doing that, and he's going to end up terrestrializing, what is that, Lando? It's got to be Lando. I know Clefable's going to come out here with Terror type. He goes straight water. Go straight water on Clefable here. I wonder what Clefable's doing. You don't see Clefable too often. But he's going to try to U-turn pivot out here. That's totally fine here. He's going to pivot out here, and whatever Pokemon comes out here is going to get poisoned by Moral Spin. Which is good news. So yeah, that thing was definitely Choice Scarf if it has U-turn. So he U-turns out of here. Now I'm sitting here with the Grass Terra. <laughs> I didn't even have to use my Terra, but it was more just like a precautionary kind of thing. And they're going to go into Ogre Pond. I don't mind. I don't mind Ogre Pond coming out here. Because I get off my goods, my goodies. Roar Bell out and about. Double screens, baby. Light screen and reflect all in one. Two for one, baby. And Mortal Spin coming out of here. Dropping some nice poisons. Dropping some nice poisons. So I'll tick around for a little bit. Um, hmm. Can I get hurt by Rocky Helmet? That's a physical move. Cosmic Power coming out here. Going for that defense boost alongside with the special defense boost. That's looking rather annoying. That is looking rather annoying. So I could hard swap Ninetales here. Because he kind of is a problem. 
And if they're gonna go into a fire move, I could just go. I could go into you, but you would still take a ridiculous amount of damage. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do here? I kind of just want to protect, see what they got. But to be honest, I think we swap you into you. And we just spiky shield with Glamora. Because I think he sees Glamora as more of a threat, so he might just Ivy Cudgel into that. And the reason I say that is we have Power Gem and we have Sludge Bomb. Two moves that are going to be super effective onto him. So, I feel as that Ogre Pond is going to target down the Glamora slot rather than the Ninetale slot. So I'm just going to hard swap and save that for the Lando. That's going to happen, and guess what? Jeans was correct. Nice little call for us. We get that spiky shield. I can fake out next turn. And life dude's going to come out here. So he just wants the HP recovery. We get a free swap. And chances are he probably spiky shields, right? With fake out user on the field? He probably spiky shields. So Poison doing a little bit of work. Um, if he's going to spiky shield, I kind of rather would just attack the Fable here, right? I'm not even going to fake out. I don't think there's a point in faking out. Just could go power gem if I want to. But Sludge Bomb does a little bit more damage. I'm going to double down to Fable and say that Ogre Pound Spiky Shields here. Right, we're going to make that read. We're going to make that read. I think it's a good I think it's a good call to make. I really do. Spiky Shields just so it's such a good move. And he just withdraws Ogre Pound. So this is that's fine too. That's fine too. So he's going to swap. He's going to probably go back into Lando here. Yeah, so he goes back into Lando, which isn't that big of a deal. But I, I maybe want to swap back into my... My what's it called? Oh, you got Ice Beam. Of course you got Ice Beam. I was going to say, I might want to swap back into my Ninetales here. He ends up dropping Ice Beam. Wild Charge is going to come out here, and that's going to finish off Fable, because we got Poison. We got Poison, baby. So Poison coming up massive. Um, we don't have Terror. We get rid of Fable, which is huge. We actually get to see who they bring out next. This is such a good match. This is such a good matchup. Really, really good matchup. A really just solid matchup. So they still have Lando. They don't have Terra. If I could throw some more poisons around, that'd be nice. If they go into the other Pokemon that's not Ogre Pond, and I can pull off a Mortal Spin, whoo, that'd be big time. So that was a good read for us, just to kind of double down to Fable, get rid of that, while it was plus one on defenses. But he's just going to send back out Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond is just a problem. He's just a problem. And I think now's a good turn to actually let... Let Glamour die. Hate to say it, but like... If they're going to Ivy Cudgel into me... That's fine by me. But now maybe be a better turn just to swap Iron Hands. No, you know what? We're just gonna double down to Ogre Pond at this point. Yeah, we're gonna double down to Ogre Pond at this point. The Simon Tats are gonna come out here. We should be able to soak that. We do. And he's gonna Ivy Cudgel. Yep, perfect. So, good thing I did not uh, protect my Lamora there. We double down into it. We get off a big time power gem. This might be able to KO. We thought I was spiky shielding again. That's why it's always... Oh, wow. One HP. But good thing we got the poisons. The poison's helping us out today. But that's why it's always good to kind of be like so... What's the word for it? Like mysterious, I guess? Or like very diverse on your moves. Like I didn't want to go into the same thing I did because then it would have been easily readable. Like he, he probably realized last time, oh, he protects his Glamora. So this time I'm not going to protect it because he's probably going to predict me protected by Glamora. So he protect... Or he predicted me protecting... And I kind of went pretty fine there. But from here, I think now's a good turn for Ninetales to come out here. And they're also going to send out Glamora. So I think now, I think obviously Icy Wind's our call. Well, not Icy Wind, Blizzard. We kind of just go from there, right? Blizzard into... He's, gonna, he, he's probably going to double down into me. But I'd rather attack here. I think I'd rather attack Lamora, to be honest with you. He's going to go for Stop Attachment. Can we soak that? We do have a Roar Bell. So, yeah, we do soak that pretty well. Blizzard's just going to KO the, the Lando. And, yeah, that pretty much wraps up match number two.
Wow, we're playing so good today. I love it. I love it. Sweep at match number one with Dondozo and the Glamora getting after it match number two. Ooh, we love it. We love it. We love it. Playing this one super smart. Super safe, too. We played it really, really well. Played it so well. Power Gem's going to get cooking here. It's going to do a nice chunk of damage and almost KO. If we had that thing poisoned, it would have died. For some reason, in this matchup, we're just king of leaving Pokemon at 1 HP. That's the third Pokemon we left at 1 HP. The other two times, we were able to die out by the Mortal Spin Poison, which I was so happy that I actually had. But from here, we'll just go into a nice, lovely Horn Leech. We'll drop another Power Gem. Come on, man. Match number two is going to go to us. He's going to spike your shield. It's fine. You have no double hitting moves that's going to KO us. You have Mortal Spin. You can poison us. It's not going to do much. Plus, I outspeed you. Plus, I outspeed you. That's game, set, match. Game, set, match. Unless you land, say, 16 spiky shields in a row. And I hit you with Ivy Cudgel all 16 of those times. And then my Ogre Pond dies out. And then your Glamora outspeeds me and Sludge Bob's me. That's the only way. That's the only way. And actually, he outspeeds me. I didn't even know. I, I, I would think that my Ogre Pond would outspeed, but I guess not. I guess not. So he ends up dropping my Glamora. That's totally fine. You're Life Orb anyway, so. Bye bye. 2 0 to get things started. Let's go hop into a third. Try to get that perfect record. Final match coming at you guys. Going up against a Spirit Tomb squad, which you don't see too often. Spirit Tomb is such a cool Gen 4 Pokemon. Always love to see it online. But uh, they also have Ursula Luna with Iron Hands. I think Spirit Tomb can pop Trick Room, most likely, right? You're not going to pair it up with Ursula and not have a Trick Room setter. But then they also have Amoongus, which is always a problem. His Sabine Arcanine. And the Iron Bundle. But hey, we're sitting here 2 0. They have no weather control. Nine Tails, like, you got to bring it in. Whenever there's no chance of weather control, it's always a Nine Tails play. It's always a Nine Tails play. So we're going to go Nine. Actually, no, we're not going to go Nine Tails. I could go Nine Tails. But hey, I'm recording. I'd rather make some cool content for you guys. I'm going to go Dondozo alongside with Ogre Pond again. I actually really like that lead. I think we can rip up with it. I could actually go Iron Hands. I could go Iron. I could go Iron Hands. I, I maybe would rather just go Ogre Pond at this point. They could go Fake Out with Spirit Tomb. That is an option here as well. A lot of different options. A lot of different options. But, you know, I'm going to go Ogre Pond here, and then I'm going to bring Iron Hands to back end, just in case they want to bring a nice little Trick Room side of things. But, yeah, obviously, I can just go into a Roar Bell with Nine Tails and probably win this match pretty pretty handily, right? But, I mean, I've been using Nine Tails a lot, especially in Regulation E. It's on, like, pretty much every single event the team I got. So I'm tired of using it, and I'm tired of just popping Roar Bells and winning matches for you guys. <laughs> it's got to be getting old, right? It's got to be getting old. But I'd rather use Pokemon that you haven't seen in a while, like Don Dozo, Tatsugiri, Glamora. Always fun. But they end up popping these two guys. Um, I wonder who they're going to fake out, though. That's the real question. Is who are you going to fake out? I was going to try to double down into Spirit Team here. I think they might fake out Don Dozo. I think we're going to hard swap the Ogre Pond. No, they just fake out Ogre Pond. Wow, we could have just went into a pretty nice Don Dozo swap here. That would have been lovely. And probably KO'd you. I'll take some recoil and Trick Room coming out here. Yeah, Trick Room. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone loves good old Trick Room. So now from here, do we even bring out Tattoo? I mean, I could. I love the defense boost. I think that is going to be a play. I think we bring out Tatsu. I think we Terrasalize an EQ. All day long, right? Yeah, run it, run it. Run it, run it, run it. Terrasalize Don Dozo. Change him to Dragon type so Wild Charge doesn't do crazy amounts of damage to us. And then on top of that, we get the big time uh, boost. So now they're going to go into a move. Just, oh. Mm, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. So Moongus comes out here, and we already know what's going to happen. We're going to get off this EQ, we're going to do a little bit of damage on both sides, and then Moongus is just going to wiggle the uh, Mushroom in the air. It's going to put us to sleep. God, I hate Moongus. I haven't used that Pokemon in a while. Such a good Pokemon to use, but going up against it, oh, lord. It's just so absurdly annoying. So out comes my Terror type. Go into the Dragon side. Get a little dragony with it. And yeah, like we, we already know what's gonna happen. Hopefully this boat hopefully this uh our 
opponent is like, hey, this is Jeans. I don't want to put him to sleep. Maybe watching my videos, and he's just like, nah, I'm not going to put him to sleep. That comes to Wild Charge. This is exactly why we tired. Look at that. Look at that. Like, Dragon Tire is so good for him. Just counters a bunch of weaknesses to water. So, EQ is going to come across. Tatsuki is going to dodge it. Or plus two. And that's some nice damage on both sides of the field. That is some nice damage. So, we, again, we already know what's happening. We already know what's going on. Um, would Protect do anything? It would waste out Tricker in turns. Yeah, I'm down to Protect. Waste out Tricker in turn. Just gonna withdraw Iron Hand. Just gonna put me to sleep. Here, send out Ursaluna. It's so annoying. I hate this game. <laughs> Never gonna try to go for a Wave Crash up against it, but. Ah. Spore. You guys want to know what he's going to do next turn? I can tell you right now what he's going to do next turn. He's going to Spore. They are going to Spore. So challenging going up against this. But uh, two turns left in Trick Room. Might as well start sending Order Ops. I think we got to try to KO you more so than Ursula Luna, right? Because I can get out of Trick Room. I can get out of Trick Room. Yeah, I can be fine with outside Trick Room. Two turns left. He's gonna end up Terrasalize and Ursaluna, right? Or is that gonna be Amoongus? That's gotta be Ursaluna for damage. Yeah, you're gonna go normal. He's gonna go for Blood Moon for some big time damage. And then Amoongus, probably. What are you gonna do, Amoongus? Why were you at. Oh, you haven't spored me yet. Now I'm asleep. If I was Amoongus, I'd probably swap and get Regenerator HP, but. Very annoying. Goes for a Hyper Voice. How much damage is Hyper Voice really doing? Plus two special defense boost. That does still do a nice chunk of damage. We're gonna lose some HP to that. And I'm kinda hoping I can have a one turn sleep. I hardly ever have a one turn one turn sleep. So a one turn sleep would be massive. It'd be so big for me. Have a one turn sleep. And you know what? I'm just gonna pop an EQ. I'm just gonna pop an EQ. Just for clear smog. Oh, you got clear smog? And now I'm definitely dead. Wow, this is Moongus. So annoying. But the good part about this is, this is the last turn of Trick Room here. So this will definitely KO him, right? Yeah. But now I get to bring out Tatsugiri with the Choice Scarf. Really good thrive with him. And I can also bring out Ogre. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So the fish is here. The fish is here. Trick Room is gone. They still have all their Pokemon. And now it's probably a good turn just to bring out you, right? Yeah, now it's a great turn to actually bring out you. Now the real question is, what do we do here? Let's have multiple different options they could do. They could go Ivy Cudgel into a Moongus. I mean, you can't put me to sleep because I am I am Grass type. So I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel Ursaluna. And I'm also just gonna I'm just gonna Icy one here. Now, I could double down. But maybe just go for Draco Meteor. Yeah, I'm gonna Draco Meteor Amoongus. Okay, that's fine. This actually might work out perfectly, because Ogre, actually Ogre probably won't outspeed. Can Draco Meteor just KO? It doesn't. That hurts so So I get the special attack drop, and we're really hoping... Oh wait, I'm Grass-type. I go through that, which is nice. No crit. And Hyper Voice is gonna fly here, so this is gonna be some nice damage. How much damage is doing? Oh, we surviving. We are indeed surviving. So from here, we're going to Ivy Cudgel again, and I'm just going to go for Jerk Meteor into you. And I still have my Iron Hands in the back end, but they also have Iron Hands. So they end up protecting Ursaluna. Jerk Meteor is going to get cooking. And I would think they would go into Spear Tomb. I would think they would go into Spirit Tomb. But if they do, I would just attack Spirit Tomb. But I'm thinking of swapping my Tattoo Gear here to give us a shot at winning this match. Let's see. They got Spirit Tomb left. They have Iron Hands left, who both took a nice chunk of damage, right? They're both around half HP. And he's going to go back into Spirit Tomb. So in this case, I think I don't think Spirit Tomb really rocks Protect. So if I can drop that and hard swap you into Iron Hands, reset my stats and my Choice Scarf, I don't think that'd be bad, especially if... Uh, we got fake out next turn as well. Not bad, not bad. So we'll see what they want to do here. We're hard swap here. 
Such a good match. Such a good match. I'm, I'm glad this third and final battle came this close. Win or lose. Great content for you guys. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. We'll see what they want to do. I could see Ursula and maybe just protecting or even hard swapping. You never know. You never know, but I'm just going to go into my own Iron Hands at full HP. Ursula is going to try to go for double protect. It's going to fail. And Ivy Cudgel is just going to finish on Spirit Doom. This is great for us. This is real good for us. So I think the smart play for us would would be uh, to just spiky shield the Ogre Fawn here, right? And fake out the Ursula. Makes the most sense. Correct? Yeah, that, that definitely makes the most sense. Spike shield you just so you don't die out in case they fake out and just fake out here and just waste out the turns because if I do this and I just keep Ogre Pond on the field We're gonna be fastest so that will guarantee us to turn next turn They do have uh, what's that move called? Was that or spear? Is that the first turn priority move? Ooh, that, could be, that could be a little rough Iron hands gonna take some damage But Ursaluna is gonna flinch so Ursaluna could protect here It could protect. I mean, I have Tatsu in the back, and I say we just try to take out this Iron Hands. I say we get Cudgel, and we also go in with Drain Punch into the Ursula in the slot. Yeah, that's fine. That works. The good thing I did go Cudgel into the uh, Iron Hand slot, because that's just going to KO it. So us switching up our moves really came in clutch for us. We were just like, like our opponent could not read us all day today. All three matches. Could not read us, and that's pretty much wrapping it up. I thought we were gonna have a tough battle here in the third and final, but we kind of kind of dug ourselves out of that trick room hole, right? They set up a nice trick, and we were able to just waste some turns out. Dantoza was getting cooking, but we take the win. Three and zero with this team, absolutely loved it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Three and zero, perfect record on the rank ladder for you guys with this Dantoza, Tatsugiri, and Glamour team. Super fun Pokemon to use. Haven't used them too much in regulation. I think this is my first time actually using them. And like I said, I love them. I love them a lot. You got Glamora setting up the poisons, doing some big time damage with the stab moves. Then Don Dozo and Tatsugiri doing what they normally do, setting up those stat boosts and just rocking out with Don Dozo from there. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.